Welcome to North Carolina Weekend. I'm Deborah Holt Noel. For years, the little town of Cameron in Moore County has been hosting an antique street fair. Well, that little street fair has turned into a big event, and it's a perfect place for collecting Carolina producer Julia Carpenter to find some Sand Hills treasures. Today we're at the Cameron Antiques Festival in Moore County, and we're going to be looking for 19th and 20th century collectibles made in the Sand Hills area. Come join us. Okay. My local guide is Ray right. Owen, oh, an expert on the history of the area <laughs> and its antiques. So these, these are oh very interesting God. to me because these are, are these are planes and these are the types of tools that were used to make our furniture here in the Cameron Sandals area. And many times in early houses around here, the family saved these. And so sometimes they'll have the name of the maker on the edges of them. Curator June Lucas at the Museum of Early Southern Decorative Arts has more background to share on these items. The settlers along the P.D. River came around 1750 to about 1800. Most of them were of British background, English, Highland Scots, Scotch-Irish, but also African Americans. And they were creating wonderful objects such as this beautiful secretary bookcase that was made by an English cabinet maker named William Little. His family very generously donated the planes that you see here that were actually used to create this object. So what we're looking for is specific things. Now over here is something interesting. What kind of materials? Oh, oh that, this is made of split oak, and that's typical. Almost all the baskets here are made of split oak, okay. and sometimes you find them of a twisted bark that we call here cordage. And you've got that basket sort of Yes, made. absolutely. It's the, the same, same folks that made the baskets, made right. the seat and the chair here. And so this is a typical chair that you would find throughout the Sand Hills region. Interesting turn finial. Oh, very beautifully made. Yes, how it's knotted off. So it really is a great local craft, the way they were doing it. Pottery was plentiful, and we did discover some very special items. Reasonably priced, but you find these throughout in shops, and you find them... Um, at, at fairs like this. And this is probably made here. It's probably the Craven family of potters that were in the upper part of Moore County. And it's salt glazed, which means that it's fired to a rather relatively high temperature, which solidifies the clay so that it holds liquid. And it also did not have lead in the glaze. And because of that, it was healthier and people were aware that they needed that kind of thing. Now this is very interesting. I want to be careful with this, but this is called what oh we call a memory jug. And uh, it, there's a lot of debate about where this originates. Uh, some people say that it's, it's an, an African tradition, and oftentimes African-American burial sites will have pieces like this, and the memory is the memory of the person that they're commemorating with the piece. And so this is an amazing piece of folk art here. Remember the cabinet June showed us at Mesda? Well, we found a similar treasure here at the Cameron Antiques Fair. Is It's in the region that is uh, the High Falls area in Moore County, or right. just above there. And you'll notice this edge here, Julia, that's got this kind of indention in it. The planes that we were looking at earlier, the edges that you see here are made by those planes, where you run the plane along the edge of the board as you're constructing the piece. You'll also notice the old wavy glass, which yes. is typical of the old pieces, and these wooden pins which hold the elements together. And um, this piece, I believe, was made probably in about 1840. There's fabric, glass, metal objects, china and face jugs, all kinds of North Carolina and Sand Hills collectibles for you to find. You just need to know what you like and what you're looking at. That was a great day of antiquing, Ray, in Cameron, North Carolina. Thanks for taking us around. Oh, Julia, you've got the bug. <laughs> Here we are at the Dewberry <laughs> Daily, old hardware store in Cameron. Great day of antiquing. Absolutely. For North Carolina Weekend and Collecting Carolina, I'm Julia Carpenter. The Cameron Fall Antiques Street Fair is Saturday, October 5th from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. For more information, visit their website, antiquesofcameron.com. The Museum of Early Southern Decorative Arts in Winston-Salem is at 924 South Main Street, and they're open Tuesday through Sunday. For more information, give them a call at 336-779-7000.
6140 or go online to mezda.org.